Welcome to Camera Collection. I'd like to share my newest camera. This is the Dora Goodman Scura pinhole camera, 35 millimeter. The cool thing about the Dora Goodman cameras is that they're 3D printed. So this is a brand new design camera that they developed. And if you are capable of printing your own 3D files, you could actually print this camera yourself. They do sell a hardware kit that is uh, separate from the whole camera kit. I just went with the whole camera kit because I don't have a 3D printer. It was fairly simple to put together. They have a step-by-step -step video to follow along with. I did mess up a few things and had something upside down, but was able to fix it fairly uh, simply. The facing material on my particular model is a wood veneer, which is pretty cool. Though I did mess it up here a little bit on the corner. It didn't stick very well. The pinhole mechanism is pretty cool. They use magnets to actually fix the shutter open or fix the shutter close. Now, um, it does make a bit of vibration there, so one of the folks online was recommending that maybe you cover the hole with the finger and then release to take the image and the same thing in reverse so that you can uh, take an image without vibrating the camera through pushing this shutter open and closed. The pinhole that comes with the kit um, is a precise laser drilled hole of exact dimensions, um, giving you an f-stop of something like 168. That means that you're going to need to do a really long exposure, even in bright sunny day, depending on your film speed, of course. It's a 35 millimeter camera. They do make a medium format Scura, which is pretty cool looking. It came out after this one. I probably would have gone with the medium format. Though I don't know, it's pretty great. On a 24 exposure roll, I got about 11 or 12 images. So um, it kind of feels like a medium format, but with a piece of 35 millimeter film. The camera itself is curved, and so it creates a panoramic image, and that curved plane uh, works better for a pinhole photograph in the widescreen format um, so that it remains sharp across the image. To load the film, it's quite interesting. You basically, there's one screw that you take apart the camera body uh, and um, it uses an Allen tool. So I'm gonna take and uh, unscrew that here. So the body separates at this point um, and you wanna take care to open it up. All right, so I grab a roll of film and I'm going to place it into the other side. There we go. And I pull that across. Feed it into the spindle. And you want to make sure that you got enough slack on there to get around the curve um, of the film plane. I'm going to make sure that I, that film is actually caught on there because, again, there's no teeth on here, so it's, it's no mechanism to make sure that you're pulling or dragging that piece of film on there. And then I need enough slack to make it around that curve. Snap, snap, and the film has been loaded. Now, you'll want to make sure that you are advancing and take up the, and, and make sure that it's taking up and is tight against that film plane in the back. So I should advance this until it gets to the point where it wants to pull on the feed dial. Because if it has slipped out of that, uh, take up spool, then I would just be spinning this around and not taking any images. Uh, I got the option with the viewfinder, which is, you know, just sort of vaguely tells you where the image is going to be. I added on a small bubble level just to help with making sure the camera was level. One of the first photographs that I made was using a pinhole camera. So this brings me back to um, junior high photo club. We made our own cameras out of oatmeal boxes. Um, we you know, just use sewing needles to make uh, the pinhole. Uh, and we didn't use film, we used photo paper because you could take it right into the dark room and develop it at the time and make a paper negative. Um, so this is a really cool option for if you want to do some creative uh, photography. Um, pinhole photography itself is uh, the, the beginning or foundation of photography in a way, the camera obscura was used by painters long before we could figure out a way to record those images onto a piece of film. Uh, and so the, the cool thing about a pinhole photograph is that it, is, it can be very sharp in some respects because it is such a small, small uh, iris. 
at the same time, there's a dreamy quality to it because of the long exposure and uh, hopefully, you know, perhaps there's some movement or something like that within the, within the frame, um, which is gonna give you that painterly sort of effect or look. So um, it's definitely very much an experimental camera. Um, so try and embrace that when you're actually making images with the Scura. Here's some of the images that I made with the Goodman Scura uh, in the last couple of weeks.